Hi, I'm Dan Vogel, Associate Professor of Medicine at the Abramson Cancer Center of the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia. I was at this year's American Society of Hematology annual meeting presenting the results of our first in human phase one, two study of modacafusp alpha in patients with relapsed refractory multiple myeloma. Modacafusp is a first in class enhancer of innate immunity that functions through targeted next generation interferon signaling. It's a unique molecule that consists of two interferon molecules attached to an IgG4 anti-CD38 monoclonal antibody. The purpose of the monoclonal antibody is to target interferon signaling to CD38 expressing cells, which includes both multiple myeloma cells in the bone marrow microenvironment for which interferon signaling is toxic and immune cells in the innate and adaptive immune systems for which interferon provides a stimulatory signal. And the combined effects of these two mechanisms of action of modacafus can lead to an anti-myeloma immune response in the bone marrow microenvironment. We're reporting the results of a phase one, two study first in human that treated patients with at least three prior lines of therapy who were refractory to or intolerant of at least one proteasome inhibitor and one IMID. And over the course of the study, we treated 56 patients at varying doses across four different schedules of modacafusp, eventually landing on the every four week schedule at which most patients were treated at 1.5 milligrams per kilogram, a total of 30 patients treated at that dose on which most of the presentation focused. At that dose, the main side effects that we see during therapy are thrombocytopenia and neutropenia, uh, which both affected about 73% of patients, and these could be commonly grade three and grade four. The thrombocytopenia and neutropenia mainly occurred in the first two cycles and generally improved over time, especially in responding patients. We had only one patient with a grade three bleeding event and four patients with grade three infections, although not all of those were associated with neutropenia. We also saw infusion related reactions in about a third of patients, but these were mostly mild. And aside from the infusion related reactions, we did not see any of the typical constitutional or neuropsychiatric effects that we're used to seeing with interferon therapy. So that overall, Modacafus was generally well tolerated. We saw impressive response rates with Modacafus across patients regardless of their prior therapies or refractoriness. In the overall group of 30 patients treated at 1.5 milligrams per kilogram, the response rate was 43%, including nine patients with a very good partial response or better. The response rate in patients refractory to a prior CD38 monoclonal antibody was almost the same at 39%. And among patients exposed to prior BCMA-directed therapy, 27% had a partial response or better. This was also a very highly refractory group of patients with a median of nine prior lines of therapy. So we also looked at the patients who were naive to prior BCMA therapy where the median lines of therapy was five and the overall response rate in this group was 60%, which we think compares favorably to other immunologically active therapies in BCMA naive populations, such as the recently approved teclistamab. We also looked at higher doses. The maximum tolerated dose that we identified in this phase one study was three milligrams per kilogram, and we treated a total of seven patients at that dose. And in this group, the toxicities were very similar to the 1.5 milligram per kilogram group with thrombocytopenia and neutropenia occurring in 71% of patients. The overall response rate was also identical at 43%. Our conclusions are that modacafus alpha, which we're also calling MODA, 
is a novel first-in-class innate immunity enhancer with unique structure and mechanism of action. It has promising single-agent activity in patients with heavily pretreated myeloma, including those with re disease refractory to an anti-CD38 monoclonal antibody and prior exposure to anti-BCMA therapies. The toxicities of modacafus are primarily hematologic without the typical constitutional and neuropsychiatric effects of interferon alpha therapy. And we've identified every four-week dosing as the optimal dosing interval in multiple myeloma. We're now conducting a randomized part three extension study to compare fixed dose instead of weight-based equivalents of the 1.5 and three milligram per kilogram doses to define the single agent dose with the optimal benefit risk profile. 